Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm not going to beat around the bush here, but Netmarble have a bloody easy job with Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. The game is already made. They've got like a backlog of probably about six months to a year's worth of content and characters. They literally have two jobs. The jobs <laughs> are they've got to convert the game from Japanese into English. And the second job is they've got to do everything that the JP game did, at least on equal terms, if not better. Those are literally the two jobs to keep people happy and today they've just made what we like to call in England a, a massive dick move. So just to bring you up to speed on why the community is so upset today man because again the Japanese the global community like it's all really interlinked at the moment and a lot of people look to the Japanese players to kind of get the expectation of like what's going to happen. Again not everything is going to be exactly the same but I think here it's just so obvious that this is like a massive like dick move cash grab so on the Japanese version every player with the release of the slime event was sent a free copy of Green Lilia but also on top of that grinding out the event it was very easy to 6-6 six, six her apparently pretty much everybody that played this event got a 6-6 six, six Green Lilia and then if we have a look on global there's no free Green Lilia but you can pay gems pay money to summon for her on the brand new step up banner and also on top of that also grinding out the event on jp um and getting additional copies of um uh, what is it, slime units, you could also trade in those tokens for the cosmetics, which are very conveniently now available in the sacred treasure shop for cash-only purchases. So, uh, it's just like, really, man? Are you are you really dropping the ball like that hard, Netmarble? <laughs> like... Uh... I'm just disappointed, man. Like, they're, they're sitting on a gold mine with this game. They've got, like, you know, 50-plus unreleased characters. They've already been made, man. They've already been made and sold on the JP version. They're sitting on a gold mine, and they're trying to peddle the rocks, boys. I'm just so disappointed. All they have to do is translate the game from Japanese into English and meet the expectations of what was already set on the Japanese server. Because if they just keep on doing like dick move stuff like this, it just does not sit well with the community at all. It makes global look terrible and it really entices more players to just ditch global and download the Japanese version of this game. Because they know on the Japanese version, they're going to be treated better. And it's just, it's so disheartening to see them take this route where they're just like shafting global players for the random sake of shafting out. I know some people might be like, oh, Seaton, you know, why are you complaining about no free Green Lilia? We got a free red version of Benny Maru. But Benny Maru is absolute cheeks, boys. <laughs> Benny Maru sucks. <laughs> Dude, it's one of the worst characters I have played and tried to make work in. Um, PvP and against some of the demons. Like the blue, what is that? The red version of SR Lizhawk is 10 times the character that friggin' Benny Maru is. <laughs> so they've like actually like looked at the data and gone like what is like the worst character out of all the slime characters and Lilias as well. And what character can we give out to free for players that is essentially like not really gonna do anything for them. And that character's Benny Maru, man. Like I'm glad, you know, I'm happy you got a free Benny Maru. I like a free Benny Maru, but they've clearly looked at the stats, they've looked at the data, they've gone what's the worst character that's just going to be a waste of like players ssr pendants to rank up that character's benny maru okay we'll give that one out for free <laughs> so yeah i i'm not going to be summoning on the green lily banner like li they have the easiest job in the world man like it's it's not hard at least in my opinion from what i can see to release this game on global they just need to translate the game from Japanese to English, that is a task, but you know, they just need to meet the expectations or surpass them from what's already been set in the Japanese version of this game. And the Japanese version of this game, loads of people play it. It is a really, really big thing. There is always gonna be that expectation overlap, but they need to rise up and actually meet it. So this banner, absolute cheeks i don't blame people if they want to like do two summons on it for the discount but personally just because I, I hate what they've done with this whole green lilia thing and how they've handled it i think it just comes across as like a really cheap cash grabby move 
I will not be summoning on the Green Lilia banner. Like, it just doesn't sit right with me. So yeah, sorry that there's not going to be any, like, PvP video with Green Lilia today or any summons. But, like, this is just something that's, like, it's just really annoys me. And I feel like I need to take this stance where I'm not going to summon on this banner. I'm not going to go for it. Just because I, I, I really encourage a lot of you to do it as well. Just because I think we need to send a message to Netmarble that the expectations are in place that they are not going to, you know, cut corners and just shaft us on every little thing and just give Global the much worse experience in comparison to the JP version of this game. The JP version of this game is awesome. They've done a lot of stuff right. Global as well, since the launch of this game, they've done a lot of stuff right as well. But this is a massive dick move. I'm not impressed. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today's video. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.